Hi, now you will learn how to clear the cache as much as possible on a computer with Windows 10 or 11. This video shows maximum places where the cache is stored on Windows and maximum gigabytes you can clear with these tips. After watching, do not forget to support it with a comment, subscription and like. And let's start with the simplest. The temp folder where Windows temporary files are stored. Press Windows R, the run window appears, and here write temp. A folder with Windows temp files opens, press Ctrl A to select everything and either delete it normally or better yet use the shift del key combination to delete all objects without placing them in the recycle bin. There is another folder for storing temporary files, press Windows R but type percent temp percent. You can open this window another way, go to Drive C, Users folder, find your user, then you need to open app data folder. It's hidden, to see it you need to go to folder options, view and here select show hidden files folder and drives. Apply and close this window. Now open folder app data and local, here we find the temp folder. You can select everything and delete it. But these are the most famous Windows cache storage locations, let's move on. The following folder is located on the C drive in the Windows folder, and this is the software distribution folder, here it is. Download, various Windows installation files are downloaded here, we can select everything in this download folder and delete it. These files are no longer needed. They are placed here temporarily during downloading to install some applications. All these can be removed. There are more that can be deleted in the C Windows folder, for example Windows Logs. The address is C Windows folder called Logs. There are various log files here, all of them can be deleted. It's just a history of using different commands, programs and so on. All this is not necessary and if you have already accumulated a lot of logs, you can delete them. Another type of cache that can be deleted in Windows is the delivery optimization files. These files are located on Drive C in the Windows folder, Service Profiles, Network Service, Special Access is needed here, then App Data, Continue, Local, Microsoft, Windows. And here is Delivery Optimization folder. This is the optimization of delivery and its files. Here you may have many gigabytes. We see the cache folder here, you can clean it. Also the logs folder, all of this can also be deleted. And the state folder, if it takes up a lot, you can also clear it. The next cache storage location is the prefetch service folder. Return to C drive in the Windows folder and find the prefetch folder here. It also requires special rights. There are various temporary files for the prefetch service, they can also be removed if desired. Another cache storage location is on drive C in the program data, Microsoft, Windows. And there is a report archive. There are various diagnostic reports, over time they accumulate here and can also be deleted. And now let's look at a method for deleting cache that many people don't know. It is generally believed that applications store temporary files in some temporary files shares. But very often each application has its own cache storage folder. And it can be quite difficult to find it. One way to do this is to search for a folder called cache. To do this open the C folder users your username and the app data folder. Typically one of these three folders or rather two, local and roaming stores various settings as well as a cache of programs installed on your computer. You can run a search directly through explorer with the keyword cache and it will look for folders and files whose names contains the word cache. This is usually the name of the folders in which the cache is stored and that is temporary files. Temporary which means over time they turn into garbage and you can go through these folders and see how much cache you find, then delete it. This method is effective but quite time consuming because 
many of these folders will be empty, as applications may delete their cache after use. Some will have a cache, but very little, maybe about a megabyte. Therefore, to save time and take full advantage of this method, use our program PC and P Assistant. The link in description. This program is free and safety. It's new, so some antiviruses, for example Microsoft Defender, sometimes can call it dangerous, but this is wrong. It is really safety. Here you can find Cleaner, and this program will find all cache in all places we talk about. And search is carried out across all programs as well as other places where various caches may be stored. Here you can also clean the registry from incorrect entries that create garbage, as well as find large files on your computer. It is another way to free up space. The professional version of the program has a 24 per 7 cache monitoring function. You can configure the frequency of cache, checking the minimum volume for notification, and also show the icon in the tray next to the clock or not show it. Launch it and the program will regularly notify you if you have accumulated cache on your computer. This way you can keep it clean all the time. By the way, write in the comments what is better, so that program only notifies or can clear the cache itself without your participation. Now let's move on to the next way to free up space on drive C. If you use the hibernation function or Windows Fast Startup, then this method is not suitable for you. But if you still do not use hibernation and you want to extend the life of your SSD drive, then you can disable this feature, for example, through a PCMP assistant or through the command, and this way you will free up as much space on drive C as you have RAM. The hibernation file is located on the C drive, and it's called haberfill.sys. As you can see, I don't have it now because hibernation is disabled. To do this, open the command prompt in the start, write cmd or command prompt, launch as administrator, and to disable hibernation use the command power config h off and on to enable. Let's move on and the following method can free up a quite a lot of space. The WinSXS folder is located on the C drive in the Windows folder and this is the folder where temporary files are placed when updating Windows. The system saves backup files that were in the previous version of Windows and uses the new files to update Windows for the next version. These files are used if you want to roll back Windows to a previous version. Accordingly, a considerable amount of information is stored here. It can be dozens of gigabytes, but you can't just come here and delete everything. This may cause the system crash. Do not do this. Instead, use the command prompt to clean out this folder. Enter the command dismxe online cleanup image analyzed component store. This command will analyze the Venus success folder and you will see actual storage size and the temporary data cache and how many backups. Also, there is a recommendation to clean it or not. To clear it, use the next command. After lunch, you will have to wait a little and the operation will be completed. Deleting the Microsoft Store cache also goes through the command prompt and the command here is very simple – WS Reset. After that, the Windows Store reboots and its cache is deleted. To clean the Explorer, go to the C drive, Users, your user, again App Data, Local Microsoft Windows Explorer and all these files ending in ETL as well as DB cache icons can be deleted. Come back to App Data, folder Roaming, Microsoft Windows, recent folder. And here we can clear the browsing history in Explorer. Check how much it takes you. Now I think my cleaning is done. And final step, don't forget to empty the recycle bin. It doesn't seem like a lot of steps, but thanks to them you can save a huge amount of C drive space from garbage. Even those who regularly clean their computers accumulate gigabytes of cache within a few weeks. And if you haven't cleared your computer's cache in a year or more, you may find that you have dozens of gigabytes of garbage on your computer. 
so check it out. Also try clearing the cache using a PC and PS assistant, it's free and write in the comments how much cache you have found on your computer. Subscribe to our channel, we have many useful videos about working with the computer and the internet. See you on there.